Today we saw anti-war protests as far away as in Syria and India. These protesters held up the Ukrainian flag outside of an Indian government building during a visit from Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov. India, by the way, is making no effort to distance itself from Russia, but some Indian people are. In Turkey, we've seen anti-war protests all week as Ukrainian and Russian negotiators held peace talks. Earlier this week in Prague, we saw several thousand Russian expats protest the Russian invasion. But in Russia itself, if there were any protests this week, we didn't hear about them. At the beginning of the war, Russians turned out en masse to protest the war. More than 15,000 protesters have been arrested to date. So what's the future of the Russian opposition? Is there one? Well, last week, the de facto leader of Russia's opposition movement, Alexei Navalny, was sentenced to nine years in a maximum security prison on ginned-up charges by the Russian government. Navalny founded an organization called the Anti-Corruption Foundation that put out reports and made videos documenting exactly how corruption in the Russian government was lining the pockets of Russian oligarchs and Vladimir Putin himself. Russia's change, uh, charges against Navalny were that the Anti-Corruption Foundation was somehow a fraud itself and that Navalny was stealing money from it. And these charges were widely seen as a warning. Russia's government essentially saying that if you investigate Russian corruption, you will end up in a penal colony. Now, after his sentencing, Navalny was allowed to make a statement to the court. Authorities eventually cut off the feed. But let me read you a translation of how he started. Quote, I want to use my last words to make an official announcement for those who think that the Anti-Corruption Foundation will stop, will finish, will slow down, will fall into decay. No. Not only will it not stop, but the Anti-Corruption Foundation will become, a glo will become global. We will establish an international Anti-Corruption Foundation, which, of course, will still focus on the swindlers and thieves from the Kremlin. Well, over the course of the last month, as the international community has levied sanctions against hundreds of Russian individuals, many of them are individuals whose abuses have been documented by Navalny's Anti-Corruption Foundation for years. So on the one hand, it's become significantly harder to voice opposition from inside Russia. But at the same time, the Russian opposition based outside Russia has never had this much international support. Joining us now is Vladimir Ashurkov. He is the executive director of Navalny's Anti-Corruption Foundation. Mr. Ashurkov, thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you for having me. Your organization, the Anti-Corruption Fund, has been documenting Russian corruption and kleptocracy for years. Uh, obviously, these sanctions um, have, have hit, as you said, the, the elite uh, in a place that you've been trying to get them hit for a while. Have they had the effect that you're hoping they have? Are these elites, are these people who are wealthy, are these people who are um, dealing and trading with Vladimir Putin feeling enough pressure to be able to fight back or, or even speak out about it? We have been advocating personal sanctions against people involved in corruption and human rights abuse for years. And if the Western countries have been more belligerent in counting Putin's assertiveness over the last eight years, we might have averted the catastrophe of the last month and a half. Uh, we are where we are. And um, over the last month, there has been an avalanche of personal sanctions. Sanctions, it's a blunt instrument. It's not a silver bullet that will guarantee removal of Putin and uh, Russia returning to the normal path of development. Uh, they don't have a short-term effect. If you sanction an oligarch today, uh, it's naive to expect that he will make an appointment with Putin and persuade him to end the hostilities in Ukraine and uh, um, everything will go back to normal uh, situation. Um, but these sanctions, they do create a motivation for people in the elite to um, come up with a plan to change things in Russia, because only after things in Russia are changed, people uh, that have amassed billions during Putin's uh, era can expect the sanctions to be lifted. 
Vladimir Ashurkov, thank you for joining us. You are the executive director of Alexei Navalny's Anti-Corruption Foundation. We appreciate your time tonight.